Hello and welcome to Geeket Play Studio tutorial. And let's continue exploring Hexagon application. A couple of things I want to show you. It is um, let's take it and create a cube. And if you notice before when we needed create, we press Ctrl D for cloning, and we have it another copy. Okay. Or what we can do, we can press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy paste, and we have it another copy which is not clone. Not clone is mean if we modify this one, nothing will happen. And with a, if we have a clone, you can see there's some changes which we apply to um, surfaces. It will apply also will reflect on a cloning as well. Okay, let's reset our scenery. The other things actually you can do instead using that. If you just hold down control button and you're going over the arrows blue green or red left click and drag you can actually copy object this way and it's a little bit faster shortcut so you can do copy again this is will be copy not clone so if you apply modification to your other ones it won't be reflected this um, control and left click will apply also if you have it edges and one thing also before I select edges, I just want to point. If I deselect every object and I clear it on the surface, it's kind of I cannot select the object. I almost need to right click and uh, go over to selecting. This is a little bit hard. So be sure that if you deselect it, you'll be in object mode. On this case, you just click on objects and select object. Okay, so let's select faces again and when we select and if we hold down control oops let's select this front face press control and you see that our navigation is changed so now we have a blue arrow red or yellow ball and if we're clicking on blue and drag you notice we'll start adding sections one thing we cannot bend those sections and if we click on a yellow ball we have it kind of squishing things and red will give it us surface we can increase Okay, this is one way. Um, but when we start creating and we want to actually have it some shape modify, that vertex, the sweep tool, it does have it their own big pluses. So let's select front. And again, we can click here or just press Control Shift. But you notice I can apply a little bit directional for this sweep tool. So I can go right here. Okay, go like this maybe. So I have its shape. Let's expand it. This is, will be maybe our my bridge I want to do. The one thing with the bridge I notice I want to have it the kind of protective on the side. I can of course go around and select the sides and do this way. Or I actually can insert them. And let's select um, our age tool. And to insert, we'll just go in using our um, translate. So we'll go down there, and it will be our translation by slice. So it will go lower. We'll select maybe right here, and you can notice how it's gone around. Okay. So let's press Enter to validate this. And yeah, let's select again. We'll go on this side, and select on this side. Press Enter. So this point we have an additional edge created. So if we go to this edge and we can select once, we can press L and it will go around. But what's happening, I don't want, for example, go around, I want just top. And other things what you can do, it is go select the lasso mode and go just drag around the top sections. Let's see if I select it, I miss right there. And just go after, hold down shift button and deselect the middle part. Okay, so we're done now. Let's click on our sweep surface. And you can notice how we start adding um, small to this one. So let me just bend a little bit this way, increase it. Okay, also. Hmm, 
Or maybe we want to have this one going a little bit smoother. So let's make click on this. Click on a sweep. Make it a little bit down. Like this. And now I want to also modify sides. one and a little bit adjust them. Okay, you can do this way. Let's go down. Or we can create just click on the sides right here. Okay. And just bring them up. It's up to you which way you prefer to do the best. Okay, let me, you know what, let me do also a couple other modifications. We can bring it a little bit up. Okay, and we can also apply a little modification to this one. So there you go. And this is actual one I want to do because we have an edge right here and this is kind of will look nice if our bridge have a little bit hold on the ground just before river. Okay, you also same ways we can select these sides if you want it. Okay, and click sweep tool and just go down and create the uh, support. Okay, so there's one half of our bridge. We can duplicate this bridge or we can go in the object mode. If you remember, hold down control, and just drag and duplicate it second part. Okay, let's rotate it. Hold down shift, oops, click on this, shift, turn around. And this is actually a very good time for us to practice on a welding. Just so to do our welding. But before to do that, what we want to do, we want to remove these unnecessary faces. Let's go click on the faces. Click delete on this side, kill object, select this object, select faces on this object, and delete here as well. Okay, let's go to object mode. Next, what I want to do it is select one, shift select second object. Actually, you know what? They're a little bit too far away. So let's bring them a little bit closer. Maybe right here. And this is actually will be a very good example to showing what's happened some to the points when they're not exactly the same. So we select one, second object, we'll go to the points. We can preview points. And let's like right click, go over. You know what? I'll select a square. So we we'll select these two points and we go now and we go to weld them. So well, this one, well, these points, okay. so well, this one, can we can go okay. select this and this point, and let's see when we weld this one points. So it's actually extend and putting together. And this is a very nice option, so we don't need to worry too much about them to be far apart. Same will apply here, but it will take it will take a median, so it won't go too much to the left or right. Just go right here. Let's do same things on welding here, and we weld these points as well. Let's enter to validate and let's select and validate and well these points. Okay, validate here. Here actually I see right here 
back we still have it some. We weld right here. And last two points weld right here. So right now what is happening? This has become as one object because we're welding together. And we're creating a very primitive bridge. We can actually work much more on this bridge, adjust a lot of stuff. And something mess up right here on our points. See, we're missing a little bit piece right here. So we probably want to do it is going again to point. Click this one, click right here. And let's weld this one. For some reason, it was a little bit mistake. And you know, because we copy, we we'll probably have the exactly same problem right here. So let's select one point, that one, and weld as well. Okay. Also, we can little bit pull front. So. There you go. Here's our bridge. Again, it's required much more work for the details, but the practicing of this tutorial was to work a little bit more on a swift, on a welding and duplicating object. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come with us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.